The most dangerous man in the world is back. Not Jason, not Mike Myers, Freddy Krueger. No, Alex Jones, he's back. And his words are so dangerous that they got him banned. He was in exile for multiple years. I want to say five years. On Twitter, Jack Dorsey said, hey, Alex is too dangerous. And do you know why he was dangerous? Same reason that YouTube demonetizes and removes channels. Honesty, truth, unfiltered, hardcore, unbiased honesty. And that's why the mainstream media hates Donald Trump. They hate Alex Jones. They're starting to hate Elon Musk. That's why Fox News removed Tucker Carlson. It's not because they've actually done anything inhumane to anyone, like, say, Mike Tyson. Remember Mike Tyson went to prison, and now he's got free reign everywhere? No, they didn't do anything like that. They used words to open people's eyes and to share truth and reality, and that's dangerous. And in today's society, truth, honesty, unfiltered, just raw honesty is dangerous as hell. And we all know this the same way that we know that Donald Trump didn't do anything except speak from his heart and his truth that he wants to make America a better place. Can you imagine if the little bit of border wall that he built wasn't there? Have you seen the footage of the thousands upon thousands of illegal immigrants coming across the border? If that little bit of fence that he had constructed wasn't there, if you live in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, California, can you imagine what it would be like? I mean, that is just a possible small little filter that they have to go through, but they are. Can you imagine what would it be like if that wasn't there? Now, Alex Jones, let's talk about him for a second. He has his own base or his own website, InfoWars. <clears throat> and he just basically talks about current events before they happen. Almost a fortune teller. But most of the things that he's talking about have come to fruition. He predicted the, you know, the thing in New York City just months before it happened. He's predicted the great replacement theory. It's happening right now. He predicted the conspiracies or what is now becoming truth that is happening with Donald Trump and the Clinton Global Initiative and the Clinton Foundation. It is so funny to see people lose their minds and the people on the left that are so free speech want to restrict his free speech Respect, restrict mine, and more importantly, restrict what you hear. It's ironic that they assume the role of the police for honesty and filtering. George Orwell, the book 1984, I'm surprised it's still allowed on Amazon. I'm surprised it's allowed to be sold anywhere. It should be banned, according to many people because it outlines the entire playbook. Saul Alinsky, his book, The Rules for Radicals, you should read it. It outlines everything, the entire plan, the entire playbook. And inside of most copies, there's a quote from President Barack Hussein Obama detailing how that book formed and forged his agenda and his opinion. You're seeing a lot of distractions happening in the news. Hunter Biden's a big distraction. The Ukraine grift is a big distraction. The money for student loan bailout is a big distraction. The Republicans saying they're going to impeach Joe Biden is a big distraction. It's all a distraction from the southern border. And you're going to see a lot of news agencies and news outlets using Alex Jones as a distraction from the southern border. That is the single most important thing happening right now in the United States. It is a daily invasion of Chinese foreign nationals, doctors and lawyers apparently coming from Venezuela and Morocco and Africa, 
Mexico. I don't even think Mexico and Mexican people are coming across the border right now. They're being pushed out of the way by all these others. It's really disgusting what's going on, and it's being completely avoided by what I would call mainstream news outlets. Sure, these Republican conventions or Republican debates are trotted out, but none of them have really given a solution to the southern border other than one person that doesn't even go to the debates because he's miles ahead. You lay down with pigs, you're going to get muddy. And that's exactly what these other clowns are. Chris Christie, clown, a big clown. Vivek Ramshwari says a lot of good things, but I think he's just there as an enigma to stir it up. Nikki Haley's dangerous. She would deploy troops day one to Ukraine. We would be fighting the Russians on day one. Ron DeSantis, go back to being a governor. Get some normal shoes. Play play normal. Quit being a clown. You're, you're propped up by the Bush crime family. I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting money from George Soros or even the Clinton Global Initiative. You're going to see President Joe Biden be forced out very soon. These indictments against Hunter Biden are nothing more than a tool to leverage him to be out. Tonight, you can tune in. I'll be live streaming on YouTube, on Rumble, and on Locals. You can tune in and talk tonight on those three platforms, 7 p.m. Central. We're going to talk about what's going on. We're going to talk a little bit about Alex Jones, the most dangerous words in the in the world. He, he says them, apparently. I'm going to get out of here. I'm waiting. Uh, So-and-so is in there doing a little shopping, and I'm waiting on her. I didn't want to go in. The place is a madhouse. Hey, while you're out driving around, looking around at all the car lots and how full they are right now. You know why? Nobody can get financing. No one can afford to buy anything new. No, used cars are jacked up in price. They're starting to come down because nobody can afford them. But look at the used car lots. That should tell you something. Look at that. I'm going to get out of here. Veteran Biker, I'll see you all tonight at 7 p.m. Tune in. Rumble, Locals, YouTube. You can also join me on my Patreon channel. Support the channel. Support me on Locals. I really appreciate what you're doing. All these platforms, with the exception of Rumble and Locals, maybe Twitter, they don't really like free speech, do they? Take care. See you on tonight, 7 p.m. Don't be afraid. Come on in. The water's fine.